Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how I install my wig and make it look as natural as I can get it to look. Um, so first things first, I'm going to grab my wig here. This is the Chloe wig from Unawigs. So first thing you do, I'm ahead of myself here. Your wig cap, that comes first. And you're just going to stick your wig cap on. back a little bit okay and then what I like to do um, some people braid their hair and put it back um, I don't like having the ponytail because um, I feel like it just makes it a little bit more bumpy so I just like twist mine and then tuck it underneath and then I'll do that to the other side as well And then one thing that you can do if you are blessed to have the hair to do it, you can pull out a few pieces kind of on the sides here. That's a bit too much. So you just want a little bit. And this just helps it look a lot more natural along the hairline because you have some of your real hair showing. Okay, so next I'm going to grab my wig. Um, when you do get a lace front wig, it typically comes with the lace hanging down a bit, so you just trim it along the hairline. So I'm just gonna flip it upside down. Okay, and then just adjust as needed, get your part where you want it. There's also these combs that you can take that are on the side, and you just take them and flip it under your wig cap. and that'll keep it nice and secure. What I am going to do with this one, there is a little bit of a lift, as you can see there. So what I do, I take my brush, and I literally just have a little bit of eyelash glue. I know there are a lot of products out there that are specifically made for wigs, and I do plan on picking that up at some point, but for right now, this is working for me. So I take my brush and my glue, and I put a very minuscule amount on, and then I just come in and I'll lift this up just a little bit. Put a tiny bit on there and then I'll press it down and I'll hold it for a minute or two until it dries. Okay, so next what I like to do just to kind of take the lace and then blend it down kind of onto my forehead. Um, afterwards, uh, after I've done my makeup, I will take this uh, powder foundation. I'll just pat it on top of the lace at the front and then down just onto my forehead to blend it and make it look as seamless as possible. Okay, and there you have it. So as you can see, this pretty much looks like it is my hair. You can't really see any line or anything like that. The one thing is that if you were to get up super close, you can see a little bit of the grid and like where the knots are or where the hair is tied in. Um, but for the most part, nobody will ever be looking at you that close. People kind of look at you this way. Um, they don't really, unless they know you're wearing a wig, they probably won't be staring at your hairline. So that is how I get my wig to look as natural as possible. Um, again, this wig is from Unawigs. Thanks for watching. Bye.